Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, guys, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Magdaleno. How are you? Relax. 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 Um, relax. At, at home. home. At, at home. home. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Equal yesterday. The same mistake. Don't at worry. Home. Don't worry. At home. And I am at home having dinner. Oh, that's good. Enjoy. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Well, let's see who else is around. Carlos, Elibaldo, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm pretty good. How are teacher. you, my friend? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yes. How's everything? How was your day? Perdón, ¿cómo fue? How was your day? Night, teacher. Night. Oh. Okay. What did you do today? Tell me. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo este día? My, my, in my work and in my, in my trabajo and work. Yeah, yeah. What, well, what were your activities? Yes. What do you do in your job? What do you exactly do? ¿Qué es lo que usted hace? The packing, the packing, and the to preparar los packings para los los envíos. Okay, for the delivery, delivery. Yes. yes. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you were very busy. Well, thank you very much, Carlos, and welcome to the class. Let's see who else is around. Yvette. Hello, Yvette. How are you? Good evening. How are you, teacher? Good evening. Good evening. I am just fine, just fine. Great, actually. Happy to be here in class with you guys. So tell me, how was your day? Um, my work? Yeah. Um, today, um, much working in have in um como se dice informes reports. muchos informes reports mm, report okay much report many, many reports many report um uh, this this close visit in a bank um, um next um, uh, ¿cómo se dice mañana? Morning. Morning. Um close visita. Visit. Visit. Um visit. Okay. Um eh, tenemos o oh, sí, tenemos como a uh, uh, who are to say, say, ¿cómo se dice? Tenemos que entregar informes. Reports, reports. Reports, Ajá, pero tenemos que entregar o sea, el team, the teams tiene que entregar reportes. 
I'm sorry, repeat again. Um, el equipo tiene que entregar reportes. Okay, the team has to present reports. Okay. The team present has report. Has to present. Has to present report. Okay. Entonces. Then. Then much working. Okay, then we have a lot of work. Then we have a lot of See, a lot of? A lot of work. Work. Okay. See? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, just let me send a message to the group. Okay, let's see. Wow. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is here? Uh, um, Gabriel, hello, Gabriel, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good night, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, well, thanks to God, to God, God, sí, así. Bien, gracias a Dios, a veces bastante bueno. Thanks, 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 God. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Oh. Thanks, God. Um, Tired, tired, I can imagine. A long day at work, right? Sí. Um, uh, we have enough work. Right? Uh, we have enough work. Okay, we have a lot of work. A lot of work. Ah. We have a lot. Okay, well, that's good. Cool. It's good to be busy. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Uh, hmm. Let's see, let's see. Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How are you? How are you this lovely night, this rainy night? See with the rain. I'm sorry, I, I can hear you, but so far away. Hello. Veronica. Oops, I guess we're having problems with the microphone. Well, welcome to the class, Veronica. Perhaps you can fix it. Let's see who else is here. Karen, hello, Karen. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Um, fine. How was your day? It was a busy day. A busy day? Yes, I had a lot of work. Oh, really? Yes. A long day at work. Okay. Tell me, uh, what do you do? What do you do in your job? I... Como se dice... 
como procesar requerimientos I, de compra. Ok, I process a purchase requirement. Process purchase requirement. Like this. I process purchase requirement. Wow, interesting. So you are quite busy. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, uh, at what time do you finish working? Tell me. <laughs> mm, maybe 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. Okay. And what time do you get home? Mm, 4 30 p.m. I oh. do home office. Ah, oh, that's why, that's why. Yeah. How do you but like not, it like that? Not every day. Ah, oh. so when you have to travel, how long does it take you to get home? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, that's okay. Yeah. It's acceptable, yeah. Yeah, yeah because I mean, sometimes uh, to thumb up your classmates, like they tell me like two hours, yeah. Like Ingrid tell me that she enjoys being in the in traffic jams. It's yeah. part of her daily happiness, she says. Yeah. Yeah, well, Karen, welcome. Thank you. Hello, Ingrid. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was traffic for you today? I uh, today is very good. I I don't get out. It, oh. it, it don't oh, get you out. didn't you didn't go out? Yes. I work in my house, home office. Too. Okay. Yes. The sometime uh, this day is I work I work in in my house. Okay, at home. You can say at, at home. At home. Yes. Okay, that's nice. So you are relaxed. At what time did you finish working? Uh, at 5 p.m. Mm, that's nice. Yes. What do you like to go? What do you like better to go to the office or to work from home? From at home. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yes. you can. You avoid traffic. Yes, yes, it's must the day is must relax. It's the day, the day is more. It's more. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. This day, this day is more relaxed. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yes, teacher. How do you say uno se hace su tiempo? Uh, you make your own time. Oh, oh, in mi caso podría decir, I make. Well, actually, the way the way you are expressing it is like a uh, impersonal. Lo estoy expresando de una manera impersonal. Uh -huh. So you can say it. You you can say it like that. Okay. You make your own time. That's in general. Um, okay. You make you own time. Yeah, you make your own time. Yeah, I mean. Sometimes you, what you mean is that you make your own schedule, right? Uh, I mean, you, you, you manage, you manage, the you time. manage your time all along the day. Yes, teacher. It's, it's more benefit in, in, in some, it's more benefit sometime. Because in the other situation, it's necessary to get out the this home <laughs> yeah of course yes. yes but one day uh, work at, at home is is good <laughs> i like yeah. yeah you're right i mean yes yeah well in my case you know when i was working home, when i was doing home office because i was fishing in the hard days of pandemic uh, mm -hmm. 
in my case, it was a little bit harder because I have to deal with students and with their parents. Believe me, sometimes I was receiving, I was texting people, I was sending material at, and receiving homework at 9, 10 p.m. at 4 a.m. in the morning. It was crazy. For yes. me, it was more stressful. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think same for you. Uh, I identify the other jobs is more more uh, more uh, un poco más pesados more more difficult more difficult when have when 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 has or when was pandemic yeah yes but actually is more is more is 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 I saw my our tendency is Trending yeah. <laughs> this the work this work. Yeah, well, interesting talking to you, Ingrid. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Mr. Carlos Chavez, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. What about you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, here home. Uh, today was a good day. I went to the gym. Nice. I I I I little stress. Oh really? Why? Uh, because the the traffic is very hard. I can imagine. I can imagine the rain, the 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 fallen trees, uh, not top light in some places. Complex, right? Yeah. But right now I'm relaxing with my uh, my cup of my my coffee cup and my donut. my cup of coffee my cup of coffee and my donut. Oh, nice, nice. That's good relaxing. So tell me, how long does it take you to get from your job from home to your job or from your job to home? How long does it take you to commute? Maybe two hours. Ouch. Very hard. A lot of gasoline. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's gas is, it's, uh, it's expensive right now. Yes, two hours in traffic is very, very hard for me. It's very expensive. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy, it's not easy. Uh, but what can we do, right? Where do you live? You live in San Salvador? Yeah, I live in, in, in Mexicanos. Okay, well. It's raining now. Yeah, it's, well, it's raining almost everywhere. It, I live in San Martin and it's raining. Every, every night. Yeah, it's difficult. It's very difficult right now, but what can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? The good thing is that you're here, ready to start our class at night. Welcome. Okay, okay teacher, thank you. Just give me a second, guys. I just need to send a report.
Okay, let's see. Well, before we move on, guys, let me get the attendance. Let's get rid of that little detail. Because later I forget them. No. Let's see, let's see. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Percentage. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. <laughs> Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodriguez. <laughs> Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh, there's Carlos Artiga. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Presence. Ivania Shamilet Dominguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present. Thank you. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemo. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Herrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelí Achala Ramírez. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Chemara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see, Veronica is having problems with connection. Let's see. Ivan, hello, Ivan, how are you? Okay, teacher. It's nice, that's nice. How was your day, mister? Um, I wore a lot. Of <laughs> a lot of work. A lot of work. It's the same today. <laughs> well, it's the same every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's part of the daily routine, right? See, traffic jam, difficult. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible, it's complex, but I mean, that's El Salvador for you. Well, you know, traffic jams you encounter almost everywhere. If you live in a city, you'll get in traffic jams. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. and in Honduras, it's, it's the same, it's traffic. In Guatemala, the same. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, wherever you go, if you live in a city, you will have that problem. Well, right now, you know, if you go to Santa Ana, there's traffic jams. And uh, you go to, well, Sonsonate, you know, once in a while. But, I mean, all the main cities, uh, they got traffic. Yeah. What can we do? There's too many cars, too many people, actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's part of the daily routine. I remember when, for me, going to San Salvador to, to work by Milamonte, it used to take me one hour in the morning, you know, by car, uh, like... Uh, like 12 years ago. Now, it takes two hours and a half. It's terrible. So, I think I think uh, there are uh, so much cars in the street. Yeah. Yeah. There's too many. Too many. Demasiados. Sí. Yeah, there are too many. But 
Uh, and, and motorcycles, there's a lot of motorcycles. There's a bunch. Who is Bosch? Bunch, there's a bunch. Let me text for you. Hay un montón. Hay un montón. There's a bunch. A bunch. Bunch. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but I mean, it's normal nowadays. We can do nothing against it. Really? Yeah. There is a bunch. Ivan. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Do I still? Yeah, I still got time. A little bit of time. Let's see. Let's see. Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. How was your day at work? So-so uh, for traffic. Oh, really? Yes. How was traffic for you? Very heavy? Very, very heavy. Well, I mean, that's normal nowadays. How long does it take you? How long does it take you from your job to your house? Uh, uh, four hours. Desde, como, desde el pico, teacher. Okay. So you work in Opico. Yes, yes. And you live? Mm, pango. Ouch. Santa, that's crazy. Santa Tecla, el centro. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, my friend. Boulevard del Ejército. Así que, uh, My gosh, yeah. It's terrible. It's just terrible. You know? Oh, Pico, let's see. I don't know Pico that much. I mean, I used to just pass by. I was working in San Pablo, Tacachico, that farther. Oh. Yeah, but it's far. And nowadays with traffic, yeah, it's crazy for you. You gotta pass by Los Chorros, Santa Tecla. Then, well, from Los Chorros, all the way there is there is traffic. Mm. Yeah, it's terrible. Well, so sorry to hear that, my friend, but what can we do, right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Yes. Hey, Wilfredo, welcome to the class. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Carla, Lisette, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, my dear? Fine. Okay, how was your day? Tell me. How was your day? Was it a good day, a bad day? Hello. Hola. How was your day, Carla? ¿Qué tal su día? Good. Okay. Okay. To answer, you can tell me. Para contestar esa pregunta, puedo decirme. It was good. You can answer to me like, it was Okay. 
you can tell me uh, just fine, que es como decir, no, bien. I mean, these are variations of the same answer. Some variations de la misma respuesta. It was okay. okay, it was good, just fine. I mean, sometimes we can say, uh, La última was, sería, good, good, fine. Just, just fine. Just fine. Just, just. Uh, just fine. Perfect, yeah. Or you can also tell me, it was great. Fue grandioso. I mean, when you have a great day, right? These are just variations of the same answer. Okay. Because the question was, how was your day? Como la pregunta era, ¿qué tal su día? If I ask you, uh, well, you know, yes, yeah, some people ask, how are you? Algunas personas hacen la pregunta, how are you? And you know that, right? You answer, I am fine, I am okay, I'm good, I am bad, I am sad, okay? Uh, but some other people are going to ask you something like this. Some people are going to ask you, how's everything? Or perhaps, o quizá le van a preguntar, how, how is it going? How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? How is it going? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo va todo? Those are variations of the same answer. Now, something that you must remember is how you're going to answer those questions. Es importante aquí recordar cómo las vamos a contestar. Because when they ask you, how's everything? Oh, you can say, just fine. ¿Qué tal todo? Ah, bien. It's okay. Está bien todo. In present. Okay. Okay. Because in that case, they are asking you in present, how's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Ah, it's okay. Está bien. It's great. Just fine. If someone asks you, how is it going? That's more informal. Okay? Okay. If I come to you and I ask, and I ask you, hey, Carla, how is it going? You can tell me, ah, just here. I say, just here. And if you ask that to a, not to a teenager, no, 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 the same thing, but somebody between, between 18 and 24, perhaps some people are going to tell you this. Ah, chilling. Chilling. That's my name is chilling. Chilling. Well, actually, chill is free. But when you say chilling, like for an answer, and they ask you, how is it going? And they tell you, ah, chilling. Uh, aquí relajado. <laughs> but it's very, very formal. Mm, okay. Es caliche okay. inglés. Yeah, it's informal. It's like if they ask you, ah, how, how is it going? You can say cool. And that's okay. Well, interesting. Nice talking to you, Carla. Welcome. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, still got time. Still got time. So, Magdalena, you just finished dinner, right? It's right, teacher. Okay, I am that's great. A that's snake. great. A snake. No, or, a snake. Or, or, no. No. A snake <laughs> is an animal, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I got to. I will give you a, a, a Bible in English so you can remember that the snake <laughs> is in Genesis. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. A snack. A snack. snack. I'm so sorry. I make snack. mistakes. Yeah, I'm a human. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Yeah, but it, well, actually, you know, I have eaten a snake. It's good. <laughs> I okay. have, have, you, have you ever eaten a snake? <laughs> have you uh, yeah maybe sometimes one masacuata i don't know <laughs> with yeah, tomato fryer with tomato and soda or with coffee i don't know well it's no really, i really i have eaten it i have eaten it just just like uh uh how do you call it um 
Roast. Roast. <clears throat> mm, rust. Wow. No, and 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 rusted. I never eat. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you just cut like this from the tail, from this from the hail. You open it. Uh, you turn it over, flip it over. You open it right in the middle. You get the 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 entrails. You get the mm -hmm. entrails off. You wash it. You put uh, first lemon, a lot of lemon in the middle, then salt. Yeah. Leave it, leave it like that for a couple of hours or one hour is okay. Then you cut little pieces like this. With a bar. You, yeah, exactly. With a little branch and you roast it good. <laughs> wow. I remember okay, what's that. what's the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? What what? What's the weirdest? Oh. Weird. Es maybe hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The word. What's the raro, lo más I'm, extraño? Yeah, I'm going to write it for everybody. Mm, Just give maybe. me a second. You ever eaten? Okay, guys, the question. La pregunta es esta. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Well, ¿Qué es lo más raro que ha comido? Okay. I don't know. Maybe armadillo. I I was... I was... It... No, no, no. I had it... Eaten... A lot of weird weird thing maybe snake is the first and one uh, one fish i don't remember what is its name and maybe Pusuko. <laughs> I, remember, yeah, armadillo. Uh, I remember the first time when i when i eat kusuko uh, armadillo yeah my wife done my wife can't uh, can't cook uh, that and can't or couldn't uh, um, couldn't maybe. if you say if you say can't it means that till now she cannot but if you say couldn't it means that in the past she couldn't but now she does Ah, okay. In this case, it's couldn't. She couldn't cook um, the, um, the armadillo. And it was uh, with uh, uh, smelling right there. But... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the smell is very strong. Yeah, it smells strong. Yeah, right. The smell is very strong. Maybe it, yeah, was, but... maybe it was for me. No, no, the, the smell is, is very strong, but, uh, you know, in my case, armadillo is not like, uh, I don't like it. I don't really like it. I have tried it. Um, let's see. I have eaten also raccoon. Raccoon is nice. What is that? What is raccoon? that in Spanish? It's a little animal that is long, that got like black eyes. Uh, could you re could you repeat that the name? Okay, let's see. I guess I guess it is written like this. Raccoon. Raccoon. Mapache. <laughs> Mapache. Ah, <laughs> raccoon. Mapache. I I had it in Mapache some time in my life. Raccoon. So sorry. I had it in raccoon. Yeah, raccoon is nice. You you told me that that you cut the the snake is right. Yeah. In the case of the snake, um, when the snake are not uh, poisoned, uh, I don't know what is the word to say. Poisonous, that. yeah, poisonous. 
poisonous. When the snake is not poisonous, it's not necessary could the uh, uh, in um, the part. It's not necessary. 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 Ne Necess no. Uh, uh, necessary or necessary? Necessary. Necessary. Is right. It's not necessary. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. But with my friends, I mean, we were like in, on the on the field. I mean, we were walking. <laughs> well, I mean, and, and we found it, and we uh, we went like, oh, lunch. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember my days on the army in the army. Mm. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> really oh, crazy. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I yeah. mean, well, you know, from from the army, the only part that at that time I used to enjoy was instruction. The three mount. Yeah. The instruction. But I used to take instruction every year because I I was Studying at the at the at a military school. Ah, oh, really? Are you official? Officer? No, 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 no. I was a little kid. I was in a, a internado. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I got it. Yeah, oh. but but it was I... fun. <laughs> yeah. But every year we had to take instruction. I can months. imagine. I can imagine that. And and after and you know, uh, after some years, I had the opportunity to go and teach English, of course, to the same school. Oh wow! Yeah, it was fun. And you do exercise when with the students? Yes, yeah, sometimes we used to. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, but but I mean, oh, when you are young, is is easy. It's not easy, but it's something that you can spend. But man, now oh, I go to the gym one hour, and I'm like, ah, oh, tired. <laughs> with the, with the arm, no, with uh, how do you say extremidades when your limbs when your limbs heck? Yeah, everything. Everything hurts. <laughs> I remember my first day in the army. In the army, my stomach hurts. Oh, what? Wow. Oh, yeah. Really, abs, really hurts. Abs, abs is one of the things that hurts the most. Uh, the muscle of the abs. Yeah. Yes. Abs yeah. hurt a lot. Hey, yeah, Madalena, really? Always interesting talking to you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I wish I could talk to all of you, but you know, time. And actually, I passed four minutes from the allotted time for the for this part of the class. Every single class in some classes, I will try to speak to all of you at least a couple of minutes. And some classes, we are going to do it like right at the beginning of the class. I'm going to assign a couple of questions and you are going to be talking to each other in the groups like yesterday. And some other classes, I will be assigning topics or questions for you to work like we do in the breakout rooms. And, and starting next week, we are going to be doing uh, sometimes, like for 10 or 15 minutes during the class, we are going to introduce a. We are going to introduce another another exercise, and the exercise is like this. The exercise is like this. I'm going to be giving like, uh, I'm going to send in private a couple of questions to one student and that person is going to ask it to another person from the same group. Okay? 
then the person who was answering is going to ask somebody else. So I'm going to be having you asking and answering each other right here, okay? It's going to be interesting. Let me explain it in Spanish so everybody is in the same, in the same channel. Eh, vamos a introducir un ejercicio nuevo a partir de la próxima semana. Voy a estar enviándole un par de preguntas a algunos de ustedes. Puede ser que, por ejemplo, Antonio le envíe dos preguntas y le diga, ah, pregúntale a Iván. Entonces, le va a hacer las preguntas a Iván, él va a tener que contestar. Luego, Iván va a escoger uno de sus compañeros y le va a hacer las mismas preguntas o quizás otras que yo le envíe. La idea es que vamos a ir conversando here and I'm going to be helping you fixing little mistakes. Le voy a estar ayudando, corrigiendo pequeños errores. And that way, everybody can benefit of the exercise. So that's going to be a new exercise. The idea is, as I told you right at the beginning, my biggest goal is to make you speak more. That's why uh, all the activities are going to be focused on you speaking, on you using English, okay? And class after class, it's going to be less the amount of, of time that I am going to be speaking. The idea is for you to practice more and more, okay? So, but don't worry, we're gonna go slowly, step by step, okay? I know that some of you feel it too difficult, but don't worry, it's going to be step by step. Yo sé que para algunos dicen, uy, qué difícil. Vamos a hacer despacio. The idea is everybody to get in the same rhythm. Okay, so don't worry. Well, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got a couple of activities for tonight. And they are very, very interesting. Because, let's see. We got uh, some exercises you see there is that are almost to wrap it up. And then we are going to go to, to another one where, well, actually, we are going to have fun with some activities. And one of the activities that we are going to do, let me see, is uh, giving directions. You're going to start giving directions. Like, uh, you're going to tell me how can I get some place. Le voy a decir un lugar. Ustedes tienen que darme las instrucciones. So I can get there. A location. Okay? It's going to be fun. You, I know you're going to enjoy that exercise. Okay? But let's go to the manual first. Vamos al manual. Let me share with you guys. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see, oopsie. This is what we are going to see. Well, if you remember how to use there is and there are in questions. Uh, if you remember when we are asking, we change the position of the, of the, of these two words. Instead of saying there is, we say is there. Instead of saying there are, we say are there. Is there a meeting room in your company? Is there a treatment plant in your workplace? Are there enough representatives? Are there many restrooms in your work? Okay. So to ask singular questions, we use is there. To ask plural questions, we use are there. So the first exercise we got, you have to write the questions that correspond to the answers that follow. Use the words in parentheses. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, here you go. Is there a conference room in your company? Yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. Then you got training rooms, one site cl clinic, restrooms. Okay, I'm sorry, on site clinic. So what you're gonna do, you're going to create the questions for these three answers. So I'm going to send you right now to the groups. You will have 
five minutes is enough time. Okay. My bad. Let's see, let's see. Let me get the groups. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Five minutes, hurry up. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to send you to another group, guys. I'm going to put another group because just two of you is not, not good. Let me move you. Okay. Y la, la, la otra sería solo que le pongamos uh, in front in front of en frente de la sala de entrenamiento. Esa es una forma de locator. Ajá, correcto. Ajá. Este, por ahí sería como como la pregunta sería como, como que si, si hay preguntar si hay una sala de entrenamiento entonces la respuesta es que no hay una sala. Teacher. Ahí creo que está el teacher. Teacher. The, the answer is a association of training rooms. Teacher, we have a double about the exercise. Okay, 
What you need to do is the question. Lo que usted tiene que hacer es la pregunta. Le dan la respuesta. No, there are not any. We have no training rooms. Así que la pregunta sería, are there training rooms? Ok. Ok, solo es, entonces solo esas tres son las que vamos a contestar, solo los tres ejercicios. Yes, what you need to do is the questions. Lo que tenemos que hacer son las preguntas. Ok, teacher. Ok, compañeros, entonces para la segunda, dice... Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Let's do the exercise. I'm sorry that I recalled you back, but remember, we got time allotted for every exercise. Okay. So let's just wait for everybody to be back. Okay. Let's do the exercise, guys. Everybody's back. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. The questions, we got the questions. We need to create the questions. So in number one, is there a conference room in your company? Yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. Okay, let's see. 
What is the question for number two? Let me see who's going to give it to me. Let's see. Let's see who's the chosen one. Hmm. Uh, Xiomara, what you got in number two? Are there any training rooms? <coughs> I'm sorry? Are there any training rooms? Are there any, any training, training room? rooms? It's just perfect. Well done, Simara. Thank you. You and your group. Well done. Okay, let's see. Number three. What you got from me, Magdaleno? Okay, number three. Is there on site clinic? Is there, remember, is one. Is there an on site clinic? Ah. Uh -huh. uh, is necessary, is necessary yeah. at N? Yes. Why? Could you explain? Because una. Una, uh, the translator. Yeah, because you una are. Una clínica adentro. O una clínica en el lugar. Yes. Yeah, some companies, they got the, they got a clinic from the, the, the World Social, right? Mm. Hay, company, ah. hay compañías que tienen su clínica. Dentro del, dentro de la empresa, dentro de la misma empresa. Okay. And Eso es una on-site clinic. On-site clinic, la frase means, the phrase means clinic empresarial. Empresio, yeah, empresarial exactly. Clinic. Exactly. Mm, wow. That's on-site clinic. Okay, wow. it's a new word for me. Good, good, great. Now let's see. Next one, number four. Yvette, what you got for me? A ver, number three? Number, number four. four. Okay. Uy, perdón. Number four is R. R? Okay, ahorita, ahorita. Are there any restroom inside in the building? Okay. Are, are there any restrooms inside? Yeah. Inside the building. The, the building? Building. Okay. Okay. Perfect. It's just great. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, guys. Let's jump to next activity. Okay. Okay, now think about two locations that are there in your workplace. One in singular, one in plural. Okay, like I will start. Let's see, there's, there's a cafeteria in my workplace. And there are many classrooms where I work. It's a school, you know? Okay, now let's see who's going to be next. The first one is going to be voluntary. Who's going to be the voluntary? And thank you very much, Magdaleno. You're the voluntary. You start. Hey, it's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, in my workplace, there is a sanctuary. Okay. A temple. And there are, um, there are nine classrooms. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Yvette, you are the next voluntary, Yvette. Thank you. Okay. 
Um, no sé si le entendí bien, teacher. Tengo Dígame que hacerle... un lugar de una, local, una locación que existe en su lugar de trabajo. One singular and one in plural. Uh, ok, una locación. A ver. Are there bathrooms? Yes. Um, ok, how many? Um, um, bathroom, there, there, there are. are bathroom, uh, three. Ok, three, there are three bathrooms. Three, uh, uh, three bathroom, um, four uh, niveles. Level? Uh, per level, per level. level. Per level. Ok, perfect. Ok, now one in singular. A singular. Um, there is... Uh, there is... Any... No, there is one clinic. Ok, perfect. Ok. There is one on-site clinic. On-site. Ok. There is on-site clinic. Okay, there is one on-site clinic. Perfect, David. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Ingrid, your turn. Okay, teacher. In my place, have... Um, there, there is or there are? Uh, there is a uh, one garden. Okay. Um, there are two res restaurants. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Karen, your turn, Karen. Okay. There is a call center. Call center. Call center. And there are two meeting rooms. Perfect. Thank you. Gabriel. Your turn, Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay. There are three production plants. Great. Now, singular. There is. Singular is there. Warehouse shipping. Okay. There is one warehouse. Well, well, one well, shipping well, warehouse. One shipping ship. warehouse. Shipping warehouse. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mailing. Mailing. You've been quiet tonight. Mailing. Please give me sentences. Hello, um, in my workplace, there, there are three machine coffees. Coffee? Three coffee machines. Ah, three coffee machines. Uh, how do you say terraza? Terrace. Terrace. Okay. Uh, there is uh, a terrace. A uh, one terrace. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Maylin. Antonio. Hello, Antonio. Your turn. Okay, teacher. In my work, there is a parking. Okay. There is a parking and lot. A parking lot. There is a parking lot. Perfect. Now, the plural, there are... There are. Ahora en plural. Esa era singular. There is a parking lot. Now in plural. Una en plural. Okay. Uh, there are uh, around 2,000 two thousand people working. Oh my gosh. A lot of people. Yes. Thank you. Perfect sentences, Antonio. Great. Yeah. Ivan, you are very quiet, Ivan. Please give me two sentences.
Your microphone, please, mister. Sorry. In my work, in, there is an on-site clinic. Okay, perfect. Um, there are three bathrooms in the buildings. By, by, by the edificio? Building, by, building. Building, excuse me, building, building. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Now, let's see, I still got chance for one more. Who is it going to be? And Rosalina, your turn. Okay, teacher. Um, in my workplace, there is a uh, one hotel for use the athletes, and there are two swimming pools for training. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Let me just check that one of your classmates is having problems. Oh. Give me just a second. No problem, Maylin. I understand it. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, guys, now, next activity. We go to the conversation part. We need to practice a conversation from the manual. So let me share with you the conversation we are going to be practicing. And that's why, uh, well, actually, we were supposed to do an exercise, but we did it already here. I ask you to think about the, the places, locations from your workplace. And actually the manual, that's what it asked us. Because the activity was, do you know where the different rooms uh, are in your workplace? Tell a partner. We've been talking about that. But right now we are going to go to the conversation, okay? And the conversation goes like this. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to rail areas. I repeat. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety manager, engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Ms. Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to rail areas. Okay, perfect. I will repeat one last time, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing 
some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, guys, now, again, we are going to work a little bit different this night. Usually you just practice with one person, right? In couples. Now you are going to be working in groups of four members, okay? That means that you are going to be talking, practicing and listening. But now I need you to do something a little bit more. I send you the recording of the conversation. Les envié la grabación de la conversación, right? It's in the WhatsApp group. I need one person per group to be listening to the recording so you can help your classmates to correct pronunciation. Mientras dos están conversando, uno más va a tener la grabación y le va a ayudar a los demás a corregir, ¿ok? Don't feel afraid to stop your classmates and correct them. I will be jumping from group to group, que voy a ir de grupo en grupo, but I am not going to correct. I will listen to you helping each other. That exercise is going to help you because when you listen and you correct, you also learn. Cuando se escucha y trata de corregir a alguien, también está aprendiendo. And sometimes it works better for some of you. Y para algunos quizás hasta le funcione más. Okay? But let me get the attendance. I forgot the second attendance. Pero antes déjeme tomar la segunda asistencia. Okay, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Estefany Lisset Milina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Natalia. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Moratalla Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Mailing Janet Manzano Montoya. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Here. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Mr. Chávez. Okay, guys. So let me get you in the groups. Just let me do a little fixing of something here.
Okay. Groups are ready. Eight minutes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Oscar. Oh, no le ah. el grupo. Let me send you. Ahorita le envío. Nice. Okay, okay. I have a very problem with the connection. Yeah, este día ha dado problemas. Ah. Don't worry, understand. The new floor safety and engineers. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some self, self, uh, safety instruction today. Safety, 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 safety. 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 Okay, thank you. Tell us about that, Mrs. Mary. Hey, voy a hacer lo que puedo porque si no escuché muy bien, no, no pude distinguirlo bien. But. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instruction today. Providing. Provided. Provide. Okay, providing. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Work. All the time. All the time. Okay. Work. Teaching. Work. 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 Teaching. Work. Between. As Rosalina, Between. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Perdón que la interrumpa. As Rosalina said, walk. Walk. Yeah. La letra L antes de la K no tiene sonido. Walk. Walk. Uh -huh. Yes. Walk. Work. And, and don't forget to wear the airplugs. Airplugs. Areas. Um. Okay. okay, you are first. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary. And I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to the red areas. Okay. Your first. Yeah. Yo, good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about it, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I'm Mar I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. 
Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close the red areas. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about it, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the hair plugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Let's see, we're just waiting for everybody to come back. Okay, guys, let's see. Antonio and Ivan, you start. Who starts? Antonio, you start. 
Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Ivan? I forget always. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am Providice. Some safety introduction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Well, between the yellow flags, I don't forget to wear two air plugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Luis Antonio and Karen Beatriz. Okay, teacher. Uh, can you need You, Luis. Okay, teacher. Uh, good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety uh, engineer. Safety engineer. Safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell you about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the air plugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Perfect. Just yeah. remember. Telos, telos. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Karen. Okay, thank you. Veronica, can you use your microphone now? Veronica's microphone is giving problem. Let's see. Magdaleno and Ivania. Uh, Ivania, you start. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It is important though not to get close to red areas. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Yvette and mailing. Okay. Yvette, you'll start. Okay. Well Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. Um, I am Mary. Um, I am providing some safety instru inst instruction today. <laughs> Tell you about that, Miss Mary. <laughs> Wear a helmet all, all the time. Walk, 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 I, walk between the yellow line <clears throat> and don't forget to wear the airplugs all the time. It's important not, not to get close to red lines. To red, I'm sorry, teacher, I don't. To red areas. To red areas. Se, se me trabó la pantalla. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Now, let's see. Rosalina and Carlos Elivaldo. Carlos, you'll start. Good morning, everyone. It's at the place for to industry, the new floor, space engineer. 
Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell about I'll tell you about tell Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. You're welcome, teacher. Ingrid and Carla. Carla, you'll start. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am and and I providing some safety is safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Mrs. Marriott. We are helming all the time. Wall between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airports all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, perfect. Now, introduce, introduce. Instructions, instructions. Tell us, tell us where, Ingrid, where? Where? Thank you very much. Where? Now, let's see. Wilfredo, Carlos Chavez. Okay, teacher. Carlos, you'll start. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Mary, and I am following some safety instructions today. Tell us about the Miss Mary. Well, I am all the time walk between, between yellow lines and don't forget to wear the airplanes all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. 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 Okay, we'll credit, uh, providing, providing. Okay, now let's see. Gabriel and Oscar. Gabriel, you will start, please. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everyone. I am Mary. I am, I am providing same safety instruction today. Tell us about that. Miss Mary? Wear a uh, helmet all the time. Walk with, between the yellow lines and don't not forget to wear the apron all the time. It is important not, not to get close to the risk areas. Thank you, guys. Excellent. To the red areas, areas. Okay, let me read it one more time for you. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I'm providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, now, next exercise. 
We have here a diagram. You see, we have the diagram of the Rex facilities and we have to identify the different places. So we have the production area, it's letter A. So it's this area, right? This is the production area. Letter B is the reception. See, reception area. Okay, where it's letter B? It's right here. This is the reception. Now, planning area. We have the planning area. It's letter C. It's all these. We have the manager office. Letter D. Oh, this is the office. Manager office. We have the auditor office. Letter E. A little bit smaller, right? That's the auditor office. We have quality control. Letter F. Okay, all this area is quality control. We got restrooms, letter G. Restrooms are located right here. Letter H is the exit. Let's see where is the exit. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I'm blind. Oh, it's right here, I'm sorry. This is the exit. And then we have the parking lot. The parking lot is right here. Okay. You need to keep this image in mind. Why? Because the next exercise is this. You are at the parking and you have this question. That means that you are going to be located right in this area. This is your starting point. All this area is where you are going to start, okay? From this area, you are going to move to the different spot. Got it? Desde acá nos vamos a mover a las diferentes partes. I got it. Okay, now, you need to locate different places. Tenemos que ubicar diferentes lugares. Which ones? Where are the restrooms? Where is the where is quality control? Where is the manager office? Where is the exit? You got the vocabulary for giving instructions when you are pointing a place to someone. It's this, el vocabulario para dar instrucciones. It's the following one. Go straight, ve hacia el frente. Turn left, gira a la izquierda. Turn right, gira a la derecha. Walk 10 meters. Camina 10 metros. Walk through. Atraviesa. Walk through means atraviesa. Caminando, of course. Walk through the production area. Okay, so you need to tell me where are the restrooms? Where is quality control? Where is the manager office? Where is the exit? And you're going to work in groups and you're going to give me the instructions, okay? So, but we are going to do it a little bit different. Lo vamos a hacer un poquito distinto, okay? You're going to work in groups of four members. Group number one is going to tell me where are the restrooms. Group number two is going to tell me what is quality control. Group number three, where is the manager office? And group number four, where is the exit? Okay, so that way we are going to be more effective with time. Group number one, Antonio, Carlos, Gabriel, and Magdaleno. Okay, you need to tell me, guys, where are the restrooms? Group number two, Karen, Luis Antonio, Oscar Armando, and Rosalina. You are going to give me the instructions for the quality control. Group number three, Ivan, Yvette, Carla, and Veronica. You are going to tell me where is the manager office. And group number four, 
Edwin Alberto, Ingrid Beatriz, Maylin Janet, and Wilfredo Arevalo. You're going to tell me where is the exit. Any any question, guys? I'm gonna pregunt. It's a clear. Okay, perfect. You got five minutes to get me the instructions. It's easy because you are just going to work with one, okay? Okay, guys, jump in. Vamos a esperar acá debido a los problemas de conexión que nos han estado afectando.
Let's see if we can get into one group. A session, I see. Uh -huh, como go strange. Reception. Tu reception. Que era go strain. Siga derecho. Vaya recto. O ir Ajá. recto. Siga derecho. Vaya derecho. Ajá. Tu reception. Reception. Es... Y luego podemos poner y entre. Um, la otra es que no, no la no leí. O sea, tendría que decir I take a left and walk 10 meters. And we'll find the exit next to exit is the quality control. Eso tenés que decir mm -hmm. en inglés. Decilo. Lo estoy escribiendo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I take a left. Uh, you need to write. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. I take a left. Um, mm -hmm. to, okay, I see. I take a left. To or turn left. Mm -hmm. Because you stay in the parking lot. And then you need to turn left. A walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did it did lo tú como se te ocurra hasta como para no enredarte. Puedes decir, en stay in quality control, o, o si ves el mapa, primero encuentras el exit, o sea, la salida para y close to exit está el quality control, o, o next to exit. Así, I ahí, stay ahí, on, uh, um, I get, uh, I get the quality control. Ya, puede ser, ya lo tenés, ya llegaste. O sea, ahí la cosa es que te entiendan. Ya. Okay. True, the reception area. Area. Excuse me? True. 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 Okay, 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 okay. True. okay. You walk through? True. 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 Like that. Pone la lengua entre los dientes. Sopla como que fuera decir una Z. True. 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 Porque true. si dice true, es verdad. Uh -huh. True. So, it, in this case, it's true. 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 Like that. Like that. Perfect. The reception area. 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 To left and walk five, five meters. And next to quality control. You will find the exit. I don't know, mailing. Si anoto otra cosa. No, sí, está bien. Mm -hmm. Los demás. Solo que creo que el end sería uh, wall by mirror and next to one. Okay. Y, y a la par. <coughs> Porque si no estaría redondando con el con el I. ¿Con cuál? Pero sí está bien. Eh, donde dice turn left. Ajá. Wall fire. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. And okay. next to quality console, you will find the exit. Okay. Thank you. Yo creo. <laughs> turn left, wall. Dobla a la derecha y caminas 10 metros. Entonces sería... Eh, eh. You walk strong, 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 strong. True. 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 <laughs> True.
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we have, guys? Group number one. Let's see, it was Antonio, Carlos, Gabriel, Magdaleno. Okay, guys, who's gonna tell me from group number one? Where is, where are the restrooms? Hi, teacher. Okay, tell me, Gabriel. Well, no sé, Magdalena, quizá. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you passed the ball. <laughs> ah, you passed the ball. Gabriel. You kicked the ball. You are the better, Gabriel. No. It's okay. You can, we, see. Who, you can see. Whoever you want. You got the same way. Okay. Okay, tell me, tell me, Magdalena. Okay. Okay, walk to the to reception area and walk through it. Through it. Uh, to right, turn right. Uh huh. First, first, walk to uh, the reception to the reception area uh -huh. and walk through it okay and then to the right right at the end of the hall the okay. restaurant okay perfect thank you group number okay. two is Karen, Luis Antonio, Oscar Armando, and Rosalina. Rosalina, tell me, where is the quality control? We are right here. It's very car, car, Karen to talk. <laughs> okay. Uh, the quality control, uh, uh -huh. you, need to, you need to take a left and walk 10 meters, and you will find exit. And next to exit, the quality control is there. Okay, next to the exit, the quality control. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, where is the manager office group number three? Tell me, where is the manager office? Let's see, there's Ivan, Yvette. Yvette, tell me, where is the manager office? Okay, teacher. <laughs> Go straight uh -huh. on. Oh no, perdón. Go straight to recession. Enter. Okay. Work. Yes. The product. Product. Production. Okay, production. Production are then door right. You will right. see right. Right, you will uh -huh. see next to auditor office. Next to the auditor office. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And the last one, where is the exit? Let's see, group number four. It's Edwin, Ingrid, Maylin, Wilfredo. Okay, Maylin, tell me. I am here. How do I get here? <laughs> I was trying the the park the parking. <laughs> okay, uh, you walk through the reception area. Okay, I'm in point B. Turn left, left. Walk, walk ten meters, and next to quality control, you will find the exit. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. Tomorrow we are going to do a, we are going to continue with something like this, but a little bit different. Tomorrow I will give you a location in San Salvador and you are going to tell me how do I get there. Mañana le voy a decir un lugar en San Salvador y ustedes van a decir cómo llego. So you're going to be my Google Maps tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be fun. You will like it. You will like it. I know you Same will. Same Google. Yeah. So let me get the final attendance. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Mármol. 
can help teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodriguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Ivette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Ivette, me permite unos minutitos al final, por favor. Ok. Karen, Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Shanet Manzano Montoya. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosa Lina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Araceli Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Carlos Josué Chávez. Guys, thank you very much. It was a pleasure having you here tonight. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Take care. Okay. Good night. Teacher. Yes, Oscar. I I want to say uh, uh, I'm so sorry tonight and uh, by connection. connection. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't and, worry. Don't okay, worry. Okay. Oscar, by the way, perhaps tomorrow you can stay after the class. Quizás mañana se me quedan unos minutitos después de la clase, please. Okay, okay, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Let's see. Okay, Ibet, hello. Hello, teacher. Um, I'm not going to take that much of your time. No le voy a quitar mucho tiempo. First, uh, I just want to ask you, how do how are we doing with the topics? Are the, all the topics clear for you? ¿Cómo vamos con los temas? ¿Están claros? Eh, sí. Uh, my problem no es, <ríe> no es que no... No los entiendo. No, sí es que no los entiendo, pero cuando los habla, pero sí los entiendo en, en estructura y todo eso. Um, think, um, pienso que se me olvidan las palabras o no sé cómo se puede llamar eso. Vocabulario, vocabulario. Ajá. Pero no es que no, que no conozca las palabras, sino que cuando... Cuando se las le quiero responder, no, no vienen a mi mente, no me hacen sí, caso. Te comprendo. Eh, práctica. Práctica. Sí. Y la otra cuestión es esta. Eh, lo que pasa es esto. Nos enseñaron hace mucho tiempo de que nos aprendiéramos vocabulario y las palabras. Pero las palabras a veces para algunos de nosotros funcionan mejor si las vemos en un contexto. Uh -huh. Entonces vamos a hacer esto. Eh, está trabajando en su computadora, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, necesito que esa dirección copie y guarde. Ok. ¿Y si la puede abrir? Ahorita, permítame. Ok. Vaya. Tiene ahí men's health, right? Sí, correcto. Ok. You got a video, tiene un video. After the mm -hmm. video, if you scroll down, si baja, you mm -hmm. got questions and the answers. 
es un ejercicio que usted va a escuchar y va a tratar de escoger cuál es la respuesta que corresponde a cada pregunta. ¿Ah? Abajo, más abajo, va a encontrar video script. En video script, usted que va, ¿qué es lo que dice ahí? Lo que estaba diciendo el tipo en el video, ahí lo tiene escrito. Primero lo escucha. Resuélvala, no importa si le sale bien o mal. Luego uh -huh. le da play nuevamente, lo escucha y lo lee al mismo tiempo. De esa manera usted va a estar. Listening comprehension es una habilidad. Es uh -huh. escuchar y comprender al mismo tiempo. Luego va a estar trabajando reading comprehension, que es una lectura comprensiva. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Va a estar adquiriendo vocabulario, va a estar escuchando pronunciación y va a estar viendo el vocabulario dentro del contexto. Ok. Y si luego usted se va más abajito donde dice back to culture, el botoncito azul, and if you click on it, y si uh -huh. usted da click, va a encontrar por orden alfabético, de la A a la C, de la D a la H, there's a lot, hay muchos. O oh, más, serían más videos como los que, como el, como exactly, el que, como exactly. el primero. Ah, ok, ok. That's going to help you in all those skills that I was telling you. Eso le va a ayudar en todas esas habilidades que yo le estaba mencionando. Uh -huh. The idea is, la idea es, for you to get to practice more. La idea es que practique more, más. Y esto le va a permitir, como le decía, de adquirir, ser más fluida, be more fluent in those skills, en estas habilidades. ¿Ok? okay. Now, no more than one, perhaps two tops per day. No más de uno, si acaso dos un día que se tenga suficiente tiempo. No más de diez minutos, ¿ok? Because ah. you work. Usted trabaja, you got your responsibilities at home, tiene sus, sus cosas en casa, right? Mm -hmm. You are in a class, in a two-hour class, en una clase de dos horas de duración. You are in an intensive course, en un curso intensivo. Sí, es bueno practicar más, pero en este caso, no tanto. ¿Por qué? Porque si usted comienza a decir, no, voy a avanzar mucho. Lo que va a suceder es que va a haber muchos, lo va a entender quizás parte de ellos, pero no lo va a saber aprovechar porque es demasiada información. Uh -huh. Es mejor que poca, concisa y que sí se nos quede, ¿ok? Sí, sí, exacto. Es que eso es, siento yo que esa parte es como la más difícil. Bueno, la pronunciación pienso que se puede ir mejorando, pero si no recuerdo en el momento... No le comprendo y no le puedo contestar. Por eso le, do, le doy este material, porque se la va a poner en distintos contextos. Entonces, uh -huh. cuando usted ya haya visto en el contexto, le es más fácil recordar el tipo de respuesta. Recuérdese que esto es una cuestión de repetición. Uh -huh. La práctica es repetición. Es igual como cuando aprendimos a hablar de chicos. O sea, aprendimos a través de la repetición, de imitación. Viendo y escuchando lo que nos repetían vez tras vez, comenzamos a decirlo. Sí. It's exactly the same. La idea es que, que usted tenga un recurso extra, ¿ok? Que le va a servir. ¿Sí? Igual, si tiene dudas, si algo no queda claro, si mire, no entendí este video, usted me manda el enlace, yo me conecto, lo veo y le, le ayudo. ¿Ok? okay. O si sea, hay un contexto que usted no capta porque... Eh, lo interesante, pero a la vez lo un poquito complicado de esto, es que se las va a poner en el contexto de allá, cultura. También uh -huh. como parte de la cultura de ellos. Lo cual es bueno, porque los idiomas también expresan la cultura. El vocabulario uh -huh. también sirve para expresar la cultura. Y si estamos aprendiendo un idioma, necesitamos entender la cultura. Ok, me parece bien. Voy a tratar de verlo. A la hora del almuerzo, porque puedo aprovechar ese tiempo. Ajá. Y como dice usted, que no más de 10 minutos. Yeah, no more. No, okay. ya, ya 10 ya es bastante, ¿ok? Porque solamente es para que se refresque, para que ande palabras nuevas en la mente. Luego viene la clase y vuelve a tocar el inglés. La idea es mantenerse en contacto con el idioma. Sí, perfecto. La verdad es... Quizás lo último que, que, que voy a aprender, pero lo quiero aprender, la verdad. Perfecto, perfecto. No, no, mire. 
I am 42 years old. Yo tengo 42 años. I am trying to learn French. Estoy tratando de aprender. Entonces, eh, me metí de nuevo a la universidad. Y... Sí. Qué tarde. Uh, es importante. Es, estoy, con, estoy sacando otra carrera. Y, ah, and it's nice. Sí. Sí. O sea, y es bueno. Siempre se puede. Sí. Tenemos alumnos sí. mayores que usted. Eh, he tenido alumnos mucho mayores, créanme. Y se puede. Así que... Sí, solo es de ponerle ganas, ¿verdad? <ríe> y que me tenga mire, paciencia, porque sí a veces me quedo en la no, luna. No, no se por eso no se preocupe. Lo importante es que seamos constantes, que sigamos, es. que no nos detengamos. Porque lo que sucede a veces es de que dejamos que el cansancio, que el estrés, no gane la voluntad. Y cuando perdemos la voluntad, perdemos todo. Así es, tiene razón. Así que la voy a estar esperando. Cualquier duda, por favor, cuénteme. La estaré okay, atendiendo. Yeah. Ok, muchas gracias. No, thanks to you. Y lo voy a hacer, night. oye, no crea, lo voy a hacer porque sí me interesa y quiero it. aprender. <risa> Please sí, do gracias. it. Hágalo, hágalo. Ok. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher.